Welcome to Prasad Kapre Diamond Dream Show. I have here with me a very unique individual who comes uh, as a fashion photographer, uh, which I mean, I was pleasantly surprised because generally we find when, when you talk about photography, you see only men. Here we have Mansi Soni. Hi, Mansi. Hello. Thank you very much for coming for this show. Thank and you for having I, me. I, I'm sure we're going to have very interesting discussions. Uh, the first thing which I wanted to know, because I noticed a ring that you're wearing. Yes. Yes. Now, can you tell me something about that ring? What, I mean, what was the occasion and which diamonds are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually, uh, I was about to get engaged and we were looking for options and designs and everything. Uh, and I obviously had the idea of, and back then when it, I bought, I bought this three years back and I was aware of the fact that something as CBD diamonds does exist in the market but I didn't know how actual would it be because I had lesser knowledge about it so sure. I, I delved more into the information about how they are made, how real are they, are they actually real or is it just like one of those synthetic options where they could be like a moissanite But when or, did, you, did you read about these CBD diamonds? I read or? about them, yeah. Okay. I actually like... I. I read up some articles and I saw some documentaries. I saw uh, the. So, what the, is it that actually you. So, got, one you of know, the major reasons this, yeah. um, was I think I am. I'd like to be. Uh, I'd like to. I am a sustainable person like that. Like, I try to oh, come across okay. as one or I'll, I try to do my bit for the planet. Mm -hmm. So, one of the major reasons I felt when, when I read about it, about this, was how sustainable they are to the environment. This sure. was one of my major leading factors towards. Uh, going for a CBD diamond. When I okay. understood the pros and cons, rather, actually there are only pros, there are no cons, <laughs> is when I understood that how price efficient they are, how how environmentally friendly they are, and there are so many different type options and designs and you get everything as much as you would with less of mining, with actually no mining at all. And yep. that's just like the most efficient ways of getting a diamond in your hand. And I explain this entire concept to my husband, to my in-laws, to my parents, because having a lab-grown diamond may mean that they are not real. And I try to explain the entire the entire situation about how they are formed and how the entire thing comes into play. You actually made your I family did, and I go did. through all that? And wow. also the fact that... Okay. Um, Limelight is owned by one of my husband's very close friends. So he okay. was also a very major driving factor to make us understand that they're absolutely real. Sure. And the chemical composition is as close to or is as equal is to as equal. a natural yes. diamond. It's identical, yeah. Yeah. So you, you can't tell, you won't be able to tell even if you want to tell. So that's that. And that was... If I ask you one thing about lab grown, which will make you buy this diamond. Hmm. You know, for whatever reasons, you, you said there are three, four different reasons for which uh, you got. But there is one reason. What would that be? For me, the first top one would be how environmentally friendly they are. Mm -hmm. I think that for me is that. Second, obviously, price to hona hi chahiye, of course. But for me, the major reasons is how environmentally friendly they are. And they, they cost, they have no effect on the environment at all. Sure. It's like they were made for but, but you are, of course, pretty young. So uh, do you think today's youth and today's young and young India believes in sustainability, believes in environmental impact and believes in, uh, you know, environmental friendly products? I think it's the need of the hour. And I think us as millennials, we're much more progressive and adaptive sure. to new ideas. Yeah. So we need that, you know, we want to do as much as we can for the planet, for the environment. So if we find alternatives, why not accept it? That's the need for us. And and for us, like in, we, we never knew that CVD diamonds existed. And if we knew that Correct. they existed, we didn't know how factual or how nicer they were as in comparison to a naturally grown diamond. And now that we know, we are more accepting towards it. We are more adaptive towards it. I still have a few friends who still feel that naturally, naturally grown diamonds are real diamonds. But mm -hmm. lab grown diamonds aren't. And we always yeah, have it's a the lack debate. of awareness. Actually, exactly. we need to you know do this education and and right. perhaps through these kind of you know channels that that's exactly what we're trying Correct. to bring to the table, Correct. give consumer the end knowledge. You know that, yeah. that's the yeah. whole perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, coming back to that question, uh, uh, since you are a, ph a fashion photographer, and I'm sure you must be you know uh, sh shooting a lot of different products as well. Yeah. Uh, 
are they also now uh, getting into trends of sustainability? I mean, do you find that happening in other products? I would say at least 90% of the brands are trying to do so right now. As I, wow. as I said, it's the wow. need of the hour. Of course. And uh, some way or the other, they are trying to do as much as they can within their own means to sure. reduce the carbon footprint or to do something where they, where even thoda sa kapda jo bachta hai, wo kapde mein se bhi kuch bana denge. So they're Correct. trying to do as much as they can. And we shoot for a lot of sustainable brands. They they use fabrics which are which use flowers as dyeing materials right. to dye the materials. So they're right. not harming the environment by by having synthetic products or anything that's that's going to harm something or the other. They're yeah. they're trying to do their bit. So with fashion is when we also have our awareness increased as well because I think as photographers, we work with so many different brands yeah. and we understand like which which brands go under which process. Sure. So, in with fact, everything. you know, uh, uh, again, from a photographer's lens, if mm. I were have to ask you this question. Uh, so, lab grown diamonds actually are, and especially the CVDs, are 100% per person pure carbon, hmm. right? So, from a purity perspective, uh, they are absolutely, uh, you know, 100% carbon. Uh, so, which we call it as Kohinoor quality, hmm. because Kohinoor was a type 2A, you know, 100% right. uh, diamonds, 100% uh, carbon is is entitled for a type 2A certification. And that's what a Kohinoor, uh, right. so, so one a million or maybe a billion, I don't know, yeah. but less than 1% of natural diamonds actually uh, get that certification. As against that, now this is uh, in CBDs, 100% diamonds are actually type 2A, Correct. So because they are the purest form of carbon. Right. So my question to you is, when you shoot these diamonds, hmm. okay, I'm sure you have done it uh, for lab grown as well as for uh, natural, natural diamonds. Grown. Yeah. Do you find any difference, you know, from a, as I said, from a photographer's lens? Not at all. Is is uh, uh, is is there anything that says, okay, this is lab grown and this is natural or? Anything of that sort that comes to I think your mind even at all? As, as photographers, we are layman behind the lens as well. So we, we can tell nothing. Sure. Unless we have a microscope that can tell no, yeah. about something that some, in, some intrusions, which would be in a naturally grown diamond is what I've read. Actually, even, even with those, you can't. Yeah, there maybe. are specialized machines correct, only correct. which can detect these. So, so I, I don't think you can tell. You, you, you absolutely can't. I mean, it can be absolutely... They, they, they look identical. They feel identical. That's the right. best thing. So, okay. So, let me put the question the other way around then. <laughs> then why should anybody go for a natural diamond? I think it's the mindset that we've been grown up with. That, you know, naturally, naturally grown diamonds are real diamonds. Because they've been grown naturally. And they're also rarer. As opposed to a chemically, a laboratory grown diamond. That's easily available. So, I think it's, it's playing with the mindset that this will be maybe moisonite. This will be American diamond. Exactly, exactly. It's so, I think man-made, it so to say, plays, and not a natural. Yeah, it plays with the person's head that this may not be real. Plus, it's cheaper. So, right. if it's cheaper, am I supposed to get it? Mm -hmm. If it's cheaper, is it actually fake? That's I think that plays with the person's head. Sure. No, yeah. that's, that's true. Yeah. But then... Uh, Given your personal choice, hmm. now onwards, hmm. would you buy both for different locations? You may buy, you know, some sometime natural and sometime uh, lab grown. That's one part of it. Or is it that when you want to buy bigger sizes, hmm. then you'll go for lab grown and maybe smaller buy uh, sizes you'll continue in, in natural? Or is it that when you are looking for modern designs, hmm. then maybe lab grown, you know, is, is a better choice? than, you know, when you're going for a traditional design, hmm. you know, then then maybe perhaps mine diamonds are more, uh, you know, the better choice. Correct. So, I mean, there are three parts to this yeah. question, as I said. <laughs> I so, think you yeah. also have to break down the questions again. <laughs> but I'll start with the first one. Sure. Uh, if there are more options in uh, CVD diamonds, yes, why not? Have them everywhere. But... What sort of uh, more options in, in what sense? Uh, so, as you mentioned, traditional uh, jewelry, like say there are pole keys or yeah. uh, jarao, anything. So, if there is a sustainable option to that, why not? Okay. As of now, I don't think there is or there no, isn't. No, it's just started. They're, yeah. they're just started. They, we, you do get so, pole key also in correct. lab grown. Correct. So, if that is happening, of course, we would love that. Okay, so, I so, would so love you, that. yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about your personal choice. Yeah, not, yeah, uh, yeah. So, from from that perspective, as long as 
you know that sustainability factor is is ingrained in whatever design you would still opt for that that Absolutely. is more from the sustainability perspective Absolutely. rather than so so it's not necessary that a traditional design will be mine diamonds and a modern design not will be CBD. nothing nothing not of that at sort all. At all. yeah not at all okay and in terms of uh, uh, the other question was uh, the sizes you yeah know? so because generally uh, you know smaller sizes is where people go for mine diamonds and you know larger sizes they want to go for lab grown diamonds is that something which comes to your mind or how how would you react to that i think my my thinking perception has uh, changed in the past 3 years since i've read about cvd yeah. diamonds so it does not play like a major role for me it being smaller or bigger i would still opt for this and have you told people that you are wearing a yes. cvd and and what's the reaction what kind of reaction do you get from them uh i know people are being adaptive as well okay but i also know people are not so adaptive in many ways so sure. i've had a mix of reactions that uh, oh okay fine you you're wearing a cvd diamond good for you oh you're wearing a cvd diamond good for you so these are the two reactions i've gotten so far very very <laughs> interesting yes because yeah and and perhaps is it to do with the generation the generation yes. gap yes so you find older generation obviously going to propagate uh, mine yes. diamonds versus yes. the younger is happy that it's sustainable it's environmental friendly it's affordable it's you know available in all shapes and sizes and in, in fact even in colors have you ever tried the colored diamond i haven't yet so i Not think yet. i was just trying to be safe since it's it's my first sure of course i'm in solitaire yeah, yeah, yeah. uh is why i didn't uh, experiment yeah. much because that's the additional benefit you know when you when you get into lab grown diamonds you also can have uh, because otherwise in natural diamond if you have to go for a pink or a blue diamond it's going to cost you a bomb yeah it's yeah. going to cost true, you a bomb for sure so you know that's where you can actually play with this uh, in terms of the designs uh in terms of uh, one one final question please, actually please. <laughs> is is uh when when you are looking for uh, something like a heritage jewelry hmm what i your thoughts on that for example yeah. um may, maybe it's a temple jewelry hmm started with diamonds hmm okay now what's your choice <laughs> i think i would still come to the fact that my perception has really changed over the past 3 4 years and i would like to do as much as i can within my capacity and ability so it's not that if it's temple jewelry or if it's a heritage piece i would still like to go for a naturally grown diamond because it's natural it does not make any sense yeah, but that's just because it's a temple jewelry i'm oh. saying even if it's heritage for that matter ah, as okay. you mentioned heritage yeah uh it's yeah, the piece sure, a sure. heritage piece it doesn't play that uh, big of a role in my uh, choosing factor okay. i would still go for what's working out to me in a lot of ways say monetarily say how it's how i'm doing my bit for the planet and i keep stressing on that because i really try to do my bit for the planet as well okay. and we all try to in some ways or the other sure. some people speak some people execute and that's our way to go about choosing and doing a bit i think that's that great mansi that was really interesting because yeah. i was trying to you know put you in a, in a corner with different sort of questions <laughs> but you kept, kept coming back, back, to, back it, to it which is great which, which means that you truly believe in sustainability yeah. because that's that's what brings you back so yeah. so the, the design doesn't matter whether it's heritage jewelry or temple jewelry or nothing of that sort matter is nothing to do with traditional nothing to do with modern jewelry yeah. it's just pure and and nothing to do with the affordability factor it's just purely that because it's sustainable it's environmental friendly yeah, yeah, it, yeah. that's that's the choice so that's the youth of today so which is fantastic Fantastic! Thank you very much, Mansi, for coming over and giving us the insights into this uh, your thought process as a consumer. Thank you for Thank having you. me. It was great. I loved it. Thank Lovely. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.